Welcome to YouTube Science Communication. Hey guys, my name is Michael. This is going to be my eighth video of me in this class. And today's topic, I'm going to be talking about the Paleozoic Era. Without further ado, let's begin. So, if you guys remembered, in my fifth video, I talked about the Mesozoic Era and its three periods. It had a lot of terrestrial life, including reptiles, mammals, and plants. But what about the era that led to the Triassic period and life before the age of dinosaurs? Well, today, we're going to dive into the Paleozoic Era. No, like literally dive into the Paleozoic Era. The Paleozoic Era is made up of not three, but six different periods. It lasted from 541 million years ago to 252.17 million years ago. Those six periods are the Cambrian period, the Ordovician period, the Silurian period, the Devonian period, the Carboniferous period, and the Permian period. Today, we're going to see the different aspects of life in each period and compare them. The first period is the Cambrian period. It was the most intense burst of evolution ever known and it was called the Cambrian explosion. Biologists say the rise of oxygen promoted growth of the complex body. The environment became hospitable with warm climates and rising sea levels. We discovered many groups of species by looking at their fossils. Three big groups were the trilobites, brachiopods, and echinodonts. Some big predators were a big shrimp called the anomalo carids who grabbed his prey with his hooks and the five eye pivinae who used a claw arm on its head. Around 485 million years ago, we see major changes in the fossil record which marks the change from the Cambrian to the Ordovician period. The Ordovician period was a time of high sea levels. Most of the continents were flooded. There were four major continents separated by three major oceans. There was also an intense diversification of marine life known as the Ordovician radiation. It was dominated by brachiopods, bryozoans, and graptolites. What's cool about this period is the first plants appeared on land and the first terrestrial life, the orthopods, evolved. Then a major extinction event occurred, the Ordovician Silurian extinction event. It was caused by two factors. One, the rapid cooling of the end of the period, and two, the sea level falling due to glaciation. The third period of the Paleozoic era was the Silurian period. The fossil record showed evidence of reef building and the first signs of life colonizing in freshwater and terrestrial ecosystems. Due to the shallow waters, sunlight penetrated, allowing marine animals to undergo rapid differentiations. The jawless fish, the Agnatha, was the most common in the ocean. Another common fish group was the Placoderms. They were the first primitive armored fish with cartilage skeleton and developed the jaw. Eupterids were predators back then, which were closely related to horseshoe crabs today. As for plants, bryophytes, moss, hornworts, and liverworts first appeared, and the Cooksonia was the first plant with a stalk. Millipedes, centipedes, and early arachnids were some of the first orthopods to live on land. The fourth period is the Devonian period. They found that there was an extensive reef building in shallow water and contained numerous brachiopods, trilobites, and horn corals. Placoderms also diversified and still were the dominant predators. The fossil record also showed that there were two new groups of fish that had developed bones, teeth, swim bladder, and gills. These were raid fin fish and lobe fin fish. As for plants, lycophytes, horsetails, and ferns grew to form the first forests. Archaeopteryx were the first successful trees. They grew 90 feet tall and 3 feet wide. For land life, the earliest known tetrapod was the tiktaalik, which was linked to lobe fin fish and early amphibians. Now, there were two episodes of extinction, the Kelwasser event, where most of the coral reefs died off, and the Hangberg event, where most placoderms and ammonites died. Researchers think that it has to do with the atmospheric changes that caused by the growing forests. On to the second to last period in the Paleozoic era is the Carboniferous period. It was famous for its vast swamp forests and known for the evolutionary development of the amniotic egg. Brachiopods had dominated the sea floor while trilobites became scarce. The period ended with increased erosion which supported less plant life. Also, water levels decreased while terrestrial life increased. This leads us to the last period. Finally, the Permian period. Earth was mostly covered by the Pentalastic Ocean. In the ocean, ammonites and brachiopods were common. The fossil records show that there were lots of coral and sponge species that had developed. Bony fish soon replaced lobefin fish and spiny fish. As for plants, gymnosperms with tree seeds replaced other kinds of plants, and as for insects, cicadas and beetles evolved. For land animals, two new groups of terrestrial life emerged, the synapsids and the sauropsids. Sauropsids had two skull openings and led to the evolution of dinosaurs, birds, and even modern reptiles. Synapsids had skulls with a temporal opening and believed to have led to the evolution of mammals. Synapsids also had two big genus groups. One was the Metrodon, which were predators, and the second were Lysosaurs. The Rapsids evolved from Lysosaurs. 
Then the infamous Permian Triassic extinction event happened that killed off about all of life. Most of the synapses became extinct while the sauropsids survived giving rise to dinosaurs. As for the Permian Triassic extinction event, no one knows the exact cause. Some theorize it was caused by volcanoes erupting, the rise in CO2 levels, acid rain, or even an asteroid. Whatever the cause, it was still a deadly event killing about 95% of life. Well that's all I have for the Paleozoic era. If you guys want to read up more, then head over to Life Science where I got most of my information from. Thanks for watching. This video is part of YouTube Science Communication where we learn about about the history of life on earth and make educational videos about them. If you'd like to watch more, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to learn and learn make videos alongside us, visit a Patreon page. Link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.